What's up, everybody? I'm Megan Simba, and we're here at IMTS 2024 in the Watch On booth, and I'm here with Robert Nedler. Hello, Robert. How are you? Hello. How are you? Welcome. I'm good. This is the first time we're talking to each other. Yeah, that's I'm right. Really excited. That's right. That's I right. know everybody knows Tony. Everybody knows Arthur. So this is really going to be a fun conversation. Oh, very good. So we are here in front of our VT650 MG ymc vertical turning center that is a mouthful yes so it is. tell me a little bit more about this machine what's so great about it well number one uh watch on is known for vertical turning we have a full lineup of vertical turning centers and uh the 650 happens to be my most popular size okay. a very rugged and precise machine uh, but with a different design behind it. We're using a column traveling where many VTLs on the market are fixed column with a cross slide going across for the X axis. Okay. Uh, this has a couple problems. It creates interference with the workpiece because it's a, a rail on top of a column. And as it's coming down in Z axis, it'll stop from stop oh. you from turning larger diameters. Okay. Where ours is a column traveling, so no interference whatsoever with the workpiece. So that's what's unique about all of our VTLs in the turret style. Okay. But we, go ahead. So how does that non-interference really help your customers in terms of production and efficiency? Absolutely. With our design, you can imagine, a cross slide is a thin rail going across their fixed column. Okay. Okay, so as you move out, it gets a little bit weaker in power or rigidity, or you move to the other extreme and it'll get a little bit weaker. Okay. Where our turret is fixed on that column and the whole structure moves. So really, we take that cross slide and flip it vertically. Okay, wow. But that's like 10 times more mass. So it's much more rigid yeah. than a typical VTL. So. Well, you can see behind us, this part is massive. Yes. So that must be really good for what specific industries are you helping out the most? We're doing oil and gas, uh, heavy industry, construction. Uh, it could be a wide variety of round, heavy parts. So some of this is automated too with the tool changer. So can you tell us a little bit more yeah. about that? We take uh, the next step from a standard VT. Right, so you can get a just a standard turning center, okay, um, which should just be a a standard turret with turning tools mounted on it, or you can get live tools. So the live tools is a BMT uh, turret, and you can have live stations on every one of the positions. Okay. So that gives you that capability, but. Many times you need more tools in the application. Yeah. Or you want to get those long boring bars out of the machine because they interfere with the workpiece right. as well. So we have this machine, it's called an MG for magazine. So okay. we have a magazine where we can pull those tools out and exchange. So the turret standard is 12 stations, right? Right. So now I have another 12 stations uh, in the in the uh, magazine, so now I can exchange all those long boring bars or redundant tooling. So the tool, you know, insert wears, and now I can exchange it with a fresh tool. Which has to really help with machine downtime. So oh yeah, just keep going and be more productive. Absolutely. So uh, you go ahead. Um, also, you know, if the customer needs more tools. Yeah. I have a chain magazine, actually 48 tools plus all the 12 stations in the machine. So you got a lot of redundant tooling there or very complex parts where they need a lot of tools. So you mentioned earlier that this was something you brought to IMTS two years ago. So how has your response been and how has the response been since you returned this year with the same machine? Well, if I would just bring the standard machine, it probably would be, oh yeah, that's Watchion's famous um, BT650. Yeah. But there's some more letters up there. There is, there's a lot of letters. YMC. So what's so that for? Now we have a true three-axis machine, not just a two-axis. Oh. You have your X-axis, remember, and then yeah. your Z-axis. Well, now we throw the Y-axis in there, and that widens the capability of this machine. So now we can go ahead and do all kinds of milling pattern on the machine, where you typically you would have to transfer it from a lathe over to a machining center to do your uh, applications, your bolt patterns, and so forth. 
you can see on this part we have several sides and we're showing different milling pocket routines yeah drilling and tapping bolt patterns this was not possible on a standard vt you now, have to take it off the machine yeah, put it somewhere absolutely else. that's a lot of work especially with a big part like that yes i mean i do a lot of crossfit but i don't think i would want to lift that up every single <laughs> no, time that i no. needed to change something absolutely so what other benefits and features does this this machine had that's really helping your customers be successful well number one it is the rigidity of the machine there's so much power in this machine so metal removal uh, we have several customers that they're doing a massive amount of uh, chip removal and uh, they need a rigid machine. The other machines wear out a little bit too quickly, okay. where ours just keep just going. Keep going, and keep going. going. Like the Energizer Bunny. Absolutely. <laughs> and then, of course, like we just mentioned, we have that flexibility of the magazine. So now I can change tools out. Typical BTLs, you couldn't do that. And now with that Y axis, that opens up just a wide array of uh, yeah. possibilities for the customer. And I know one of the major conversations around this show is like workforce and companies that are struggling with labor. So this really has to help some of your shops be more productive with those extra added features so that right. they can spend time on something else, right? Right, you're getting a one and done part. So you don't have to have multiple operators running different machine tools. So you're trying to accomplish as much as possible on a single spindle. So Robert, one of the themes here at IMTS 2024 is inspiring the extraordinary. So in your own words, how is this particular machine inspiring the extraordinary? No, good question. <laughs> no, it's giving the customer that new capability of opening up his uh, portfolio of parts that he can actually machine. We're giving him high productivity, high rigidity, a reliable product, and that's what he needs for the future. Well, that sounds good to me. Rigidity, productivity, and reliability. Well, Robert, I want to thank you so much. It's been great chatting with you. I hope we can chat some more at a later date, but thank you for inviting us here. Thank you. Watch on. That's it for IMTS 2024 here at the Watch Out booth. Stay tuned because we have some more interviews coming up the rest of the week.